So, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You said Batman and Robin. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, Adam West passed away recently. Yeah, at least as of yeah. the time that we're recording this. When this comes out, uh, it could be a long time, but... It could be a long time, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, Adam West, like, I never really got to, like, know him. Dude, he was, well. he was in everything, at least, that I've seen as a kid. You know, fucking, uh, what is it, Fairly Odd Parents. He was in fucking Family Guy. Uh, uh, let's see. He was um, trying to think. Obviously, Batman. You can't forget about the fucking old school Batman. Like he, he, that guy was a legend in itself. Um, but it really sucks that he died. Um, especially too at his current age. Uh, it sucks losing legends like that. Like you know, these people are dropping like flies, and it's really unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like last year we lost uh, some legends of my favorites, like um, was it Keith Emerson of Emerson Lake and Palmer, and then later on Greg Lake of Emerson Lake and Palmer. Like those were two of my favorites. Yeah. Um, uh, what's it? Uh, David Bowie. I mean, oh, I, David. Yeah. That was a big one right there, and that. But and then one I didn't see coming was uh, the artist currently known at the time as prince oh yeah prince um who i've never actually heard of until like i feel like an asshole for saying it until i didn't know of him until he passed away because i never really grew up with his music um and it's unfortunate it really sucks too um because i know there's a lot of people that really liked his music and stuff um and i didn't know about him until after the fact and it really sucks, you know, losing that those kind of people. Um, and obviously, we can't forget about Chris Cornell passing away, in, like, not even, what, like, two weeks ago? Yeah, um, like, I, the only thing I know him as, uh, it, know him for is um, he sung the main theme of uh, Casino Royale in uh, James Bond's uh, Casino yeah, Royale. I was, and, uh, I was a big fan of uh, Audio Slave back in the day. Uh, we used to listen to them on r the radio all the god time, and we would uh, we had a few CDs, and we just popped those suckers in just to listen uh, to their music and uh, Audio Slave has like the most memorable um, songs, and um, obviously Soundgarden. You can't possibly forget about that too. Uh, he's he's done, a, yeah, he's done a lot of really good stuff, and it really sucks. Um, and it sucks too because literally not even a week beforehand, I was listening to Audio Slave just for nostalgia, wow. and then like a week later, a week later, he passes away, and I'm and I'm like. I got mind fucked. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it, that is ridiculous. Oh, it sucks too because it, it really sucks to lose someone like that. I like, like I said, I grew up listening uh, to Audio Slave and all that. And just, it's really unfortunate to lose someone like him. Yeah, and then this year, I mean, really the big legend that uh, died that I know of. I mean, I, I, I could be forgetting somebody, but. Uh, Chuck Berry. Chuck uh, Berry, yeah. He, he, I mean, for those of you who don't know, he's known for songs like Johnny Be Good and... Um, Good old Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah, but... but the, Oh, but you know, speaking of Back to the Future, I was thinking of that scene where it was uh, his brother Marvin that was at the uh, school dance. Yeah. And then... Uh, and then, uh, what is this? Uh, I forgot. It. Marty McFly or... Uh, Michael J. Fox's character was don't, singing. Don't, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, like he was singing the song, and then, uh, well, actually, I think it's better you watch the movie before I go. Oh, further. I know of the movie, dude. I I, I have I just the didn't Blu-ray. Spoil it. Yeah, I didn't want to spoil it for those who haven't seen it. Dude, I'm a huge fan of Back to the Future. Are you kidding me? I love that fucking movie. Um, but yeah, the the only reason I know of Chuck Berry is because of Back to the Future. Because because that scene, it, it it hurts me. It hurts me because it's like a lot of these things like are all nostalgic to me for obvious reasons. You know, like sometimes movies have notable, um, obviously have these. Um, that's just how you know these people from, and it it really hurts me. 
does. Because it's like you lose a lot of these people, and it's ah, uh, it sucks. This year, people have been dropping like flies, and it really sucks. Um, last year was even worse. So, and that's a given. True. And, we uh, lost. We lost the fucking lead singer of Motorhead for fuck's sakes. Oh yeah, Lemmy. I forgot about. How did I forget about Lemmy? Yeah, poor Lemmy, dude. I mean, but then uh, again, like. At least his voice is immortalized through Triple H. I mean, that that's really sad to think about it, but but it the is. Thing, the, mean, the thing is, he's never going to change his theme now because of that. Like, you know that. No. And in fact, I don't expect him to at all. In fact... Uh, he's never going to. He's just going to... And he doesn't really wrestle as much as he, uh, as he wants, so it's uh, probably better that way. Well, I, I I do miss him and um Oh, I really do too. So so yeah, rest in pieces to everybody that we just mentioned. But Oh, of course, uh another friend of mine, uh uh her favorite was uh the Eagles and one of its lead singers was Glenn Fry. Uh he too died in two thousand sixteen. I <sighs> forgot to mention that part. Fuck man. 2016 was really rough. It was. It really was. We like we lost a lot of good fucking people. Don't get me started with uh, Sitaro Iwata. Yep. The uh, old president of Nintendo. Uh, I think as devastated as I was, and I'm pretty sure you were devastated, right? I was really upset. Like it sucks because you know Nintendo. What's like a big part of my childhood. Um, he's a mastermind behind the games that we know and love, you know. And and it just, I I really hope that Nintendo, um, like obviously with the memories that we have with the games, Nintendo kind of keeps prying on the nostalgia of those games rather than kind of implementing newer things, um, because that's what. Iwata is known for and you know just just to move away from that um, aspect of gameplay and like Zelda or Metroid or whatever shit like that it, it really sucks and it's kind of a slap in the face from Nintendo to do that especially for someone like Iwata you know someone who's treated the series well I mean so yeah I mean I know you took it very hard, but I don't think anybody that I know of took it any more harder than uh, my good friend uh, Rockhawk64. I I know you haven't met him yet, but he's also pretty cool, too. Yeah, um, a lot of people that I know are, were really upset about it. Um, I wouldn't say like it was to the point where people are in tears, but I'm sure a lot of people are really fucking devastated. Um, with the series of unfortunate events, like nobody was really expecting him to pass away. Like I'm sure, because when when the announcement was made when he was in the hospital, nobody really th thought about it. Like they were hoping that he would be okay, but uh, turns out he had a uh, what a, a bowel duct tumor or some shit, which is like the worst thing you could possibly have because it's really fifty fifty whether you're gonna live or you're gonna die. At I that point, know how, I, 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 I wouldn't even know what to do if I had more or less a death sentence. Yeah. But, uh, rip to all these people, uh, the great legends of our past, um, and may they live in peace and, uh, in harmony, obviously, because some of them are musicians. Um, but yeah, you know, it, hopefully, uh, Hopefully we'll get more uh, people that uh, will live in success as they did as well. Yes. Um, oh. So I guess we should definitely start on a different topic. Like. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, uh, is there anything you wanted to talk about? Anything I wanted to talk about? Uh, I mean, this is your show after all. No, it's not my show. It's your show. You're the one that's recording and uploading it. I'm just here. I'm just here as a bystander. You know, I'm I'm sitting on the bench. I'm a bench warmer. I'm just the next in line to talk. You know, but um, 
I don't know. I really, we nailed everything uh, that we could. Um, is there anything in particular you really want to talk about, or what? Okay, okay. Let me let me really really think about this one. Um, <laughs> ugh, I had something in my mouth. Uh, I I guess uh, you know, one thing that I mean, we mentioned how we work a lot, right? Mm -hmm. doesn't that make us as rush the band would call working men oh i cannot believe you did that good old rush man you know closer to your heart that's that's uh yeah it's one of my favorite songs from them as well um fly by night especially by night yeah especially because giddy lee he, he sounds a lot like toad without the raspy voice i'm like yeah I'm like, he, he just, he sounds like Toad. We also can't forget about Tom Sawyer. That's a classic right oh, there. Oh, yeah, Tom Sawyer. Just about everybody listens to that, especially at um, stadiums. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's so many fucking uh, good songs. Limelight, that's another good one. Oh, I have to listen to that one. Uh, Spirit of the Radio. Spirit of the Radio is really good, yeah. Time Stand Still, that's another good one. Mm, I'll have to listen to that uh, one. But yeah, but yeah uh, I mean, other favorite bands, like uh, like I was talking to my good friend Tanuki Teddy, and his favorite is Coldplay. Yeah, um, didn't they like make a comeback not too long ago or something? I, I, I can't remember. I don't remember either. I, I just remember like their, their, their best hits, uh, as far as I know. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't listen to the band that much, so I can't really give you an honest opinion. I'm more of a big metal guy, so. Oh, no. oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot you mentioned something like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge metal guy. So. Metallica? Metallica, Pantera, fucking Megadeth. Um, let's see. Iron Maiden? Thing. Iron Maiden. Oh, can't forget about Iron Maiden. That's a classic right there. My favorite is uh, the other Iron, I- Iron Butterfly. They're they're one Iron. of the first ones that ever did the heavy metal um, thing. But I'm also into like newer generation metal too. Five Finger Death Punch. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, the Unguided. There's um, what else? Uh, In Flames. Can't forget about In Flames. That one. Um, that that one's actually new. I've never heard of In Flames. In Flames? You never heard of them? You should listen to them. They're pretty damn good. There's also Black Tranquility. Or, not Black Tranquility. Dark Tranquility. Why the fuck did I say black? I don't know why. Um, uh, Dark Tranquility is pretty good. Um, Let's see. There's another one. Oh, Disharmonia Mundi. That's another good band. You probably never heard of that one. Yeah, there's a couple uh, of others I have never heard of. I, I, oh, I, I know. I, I know. Suspects. Yeah. I actually, you know, I'm gonna run this to you because it's a joke band, um, and a lot of people are gonna be like all ears. All right, so there is a band, um, and it's fucking hilarious because it's based off The Simpsons. Do you know that there's a band called Oakley Doakley, and you're gonna you're gonna see where this is going. It's literally a band where all the members are dressed up as Ned Flanders, and it's a metal band, and all their songs. All their songs are based off references that he fucking uh, says throughout the show. It's it's fucking ridiculous, and and the band members are called Neighborinos. Neighborinos. Yeah, if you haven't listened to the band before, it's it's fucking hilarious. And I, I, I you have to listen to how ridiculous this band is. Like it's a legit metal band. Oh my god, it's it's really good. Oh my yeah. god! And, and you know it's funny because speaking of bands, uh, my good friend, who's kind of like, okay, he he's as much to me as say Axel Info or uh, Atma, like you mentioned before. He's like my brother from another mother, and uh, he's starting a band himself. Oh really? Uh, Jason RPG. Um, I forgot the name of the band already, but. He mentioned that he wanted to start a band, and uh, I'm like, you know what? If if it if it becomes a success, I will have been the first fan of his or the band. I mean, but yeah, he wants to start a band, and uh, and I hope it goes well for him. 
Well, that's awesome. It's always good to see um, a newer generation uh, getting into um, like music and stuff. And it's really cool to hear like your friends getting into uh, ba- a band like that. Excuse me, a band like that, and hopefully they uh, are successful on their uh, first gig, whenever they get one. I hope so too, and uh, maybe even buy an album or two, or get it off of uh, iTunes or something like that. Yeah, or they uh, could sell like bootleg albums and stuff, and you can make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe but... they can they can be like J Rock and Trailer Park Boys. Um. That's a uncanny reference. You probably never heard of the show before. <laughs> I probably haven't, uh, so I wouldn't have. Known. Uh, amazing show! Definitely should go watch it. It's on Netflix. So, hey, um, you heard it from uh, the Moogle. Yeah, it's a hilarious show, and you have no excuse to not watch it. It's great. And um, oh, now I forgot what I was gonna say. I... Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so spe- I mean, I know that music is an art in itself, but. Hmm? Uh, one person I've been watching a lot of uh, recently that is the epitome of art, and that is Bob freaking Ross. Yeah. Go figure. You know, the happy little trees. The happy little trees. And the guy that beats the devil out of his brush. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, you don't really see many painters these days. Uh, I mean, with... I mean, there's only one that I know of, and but it's m- not so much painting as much as it's really arts and crafts. But, 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 but I, I, I do like her work. Uh, Genetera is her name, but I mean, really though, she, I don't know, she just makes it fun to do arts and crafts that I actually want to try to do it. So it's like that's something there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there's there's a lot of uh cool things that you could do with painting and stuff especially with like watercolors and shit but it's like you don't really come across many people who um do stuff like that and when you do usually it's like really really fun to watch you know how, how the picture just comes to life just from different strokes and shit you know alone um, there's a lot of things you could do with these paintings and stuff and you never know at some point someone's gonna make the next mona lisa so the next Moogle fantasy. Eh, not really. And God damn it, no. <laughs> I'm not worth a million dollars. So. I say you are. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but really, though. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of great stuff out there. You just have to know where to look. Yep. Um, yep, yep, yep. Let's see. We're almost getting to the point where I might have to cut it down, but. Uh, <laughs> cut it! Just cut it! Nah. No, I'm not going to cut it like that. But anyway. <laughs> oh, just, man. Like, hit the un- just hit the like record button again and be like, all right, we're over. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>